All right, guys, today we have a 2008 club car precedent, and we did some custom work to it that they requested. We did a custom Camaro yellow paint job. We added this cargo box to the rear. Uh, today on this cart, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing an onboard computer bypass kit and upgrading to a Lester series charger. The part numbers are, let's see, CGR123 is our bypass kit, and we're going to be doing CGR417. It's a Lester 48 volt charger. And what that's going to involve is getting into the controller area here and bypassing the onboard computer. Okay, so what we have to do is put it in run. We have to disconnect the battery pack, basically mostly this crossover cable that goes from this battery here to that battery there. Break these loose and we'll get the cable out of the way. That's a millimeter. And the cover lifts right up. There's DS and precedent wiring connections in this kit, so you can ha actually <laughs> do either one with one kit. You don't have to, you know, get a cart specific kit. This would be considered wire assembly A. This is considered wire assembly B. So you gotta find this yellow uh, banana connector or butt connector, whatever you want to call it. You disconnect it. You take, this is for the, the accessories, the negative side. You plug in a wire assembly B. You plug in terminal there. Okay. And then you reroute and plug in the other terminal here. So you're basically putting this in between the two. And just to keep it nice and clean, we're going to Tuck this wire right here. Okay, and then the other end, you have this Packard connector. And you're gonna go down to your onboard computer down here and it comes, comes off the charger socket. And then you unplug it, it's the same exact connector. And then you plug this end into your charger socket. Okay, that's pretty straightforward, right? Pretty simple so far. And then you can do a little bit of wire management. They give you a zip tie, which I'm gonna use. I'm gonna utilize some of the existing wiring here and anchor it. Now this is also a fused wire connector. There's a fuse right inside that, so if you ever have any issues, be sure to check that. Okay, it doesn't need to be you know, extremely tight. We just need to keep it managed. And then the next connector we have is wire assembly A, which is down, which is the same connector here. Hope you can see that down in there, but it's exactly the same gray connector. Unplug it from the onboard computer. And then from the cart harness you have, you can tell this is the cart harness, it has the yellow or orange piece in there. And then you plug this in, like so. Unplug the gray connector from the onboard computer that has the rubber cover to it. And this goes also to the charger socket. This plugs right into that connector. And then now that's done. And then also for cable management, we're going to zip tie this right here, just to keep it clean. And that way we know that this has been done. If anybody in the future ever has to get into this compartment, they'll also know that it's done. And now what that basically does is it disables the onboard computer from doing any charging of any sort. So the onboard computer is basically does nothing now. It's just part of the golf cart. You can remove it if you want. You don't have to. It's not really necessary to remove it, but you can. Uh, the only problem is now you can no longer use your club car charger. You have to use an aftermarket charger that is capable of working with a cart that does not have the onboard computer and it also has a 48 volt connection like this cart does for charging. Okay, so now we put the cover back on plug the charger in and make sure it works. All right, so once you get all of that buttoned up, you can reinstall the controller cover, reinstall our battery cable. So now we can go into run, forward, key on, and the cart moves as it should. But now basically we can plop the seat on, plug the charger in, and it should be good. Okay, so here's our Lester charger. Hopefully you can see that. I just took it out of the box. I'm not gonna do an unboxing video of taking a charger out of a box. It's pretty straightforward. Just gonna plug it in 
here's our indicators. We're gonna line up the slot, plug it in, and then you can see the indicator light will start flashing and because it's blinking what it is, it's charging. But we'll just leave this cart charge here. It'll be ready for the customer when they're ready for the cart to come back from storage. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Like, like the video if you liked it. You know, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, if you enjoy the content that I'm producing. And we'll see you in the next video.